Let's hear what a previous president said about exactly the kind of crisis we're facing right now. There may and likely will come a time in which we have both an airborne disease that is deadly. And in order for us to deal with that effectively, we have to put in place an infrastructure, not just here at home, but globally, that allows us to see it quickly, isolate it quickly, respond to it quickly. So that if and when a new strain of flu like the Spanish flu crops up, five years from now or a decade from now, we've made the investment. And we're further along to be able to catch it. Right on the mark, that was December of 2014. This all started in December of 2019. That's why it's called COVID-19. 100% correct in his warning. We need an infrastructure to see a pandemic quickly and catch it in time to save lives. But this White House didn't heed that warning. And now, more than 25,000 Americans have died. Let's bring in CNN's White House correspondent. If someone in your life is sick, or if you're one of the millions suffering economic hardship, please know that you're in our prayers. The former president also talking about the kind of leadership we need to fight the virus. And inside his message to voters is what could easily be a message to President Trump. Take a listen. If there's one thing we've learned as a country from moments of great crisis, it's that the spirit of looking out for one another can't be restricted to our homes or our workplaces or our neighborhoods or our houses of worship. It also has to be reflected in our national government. The kind of leadership that's guided by knowledge and experience, honesty and humility, empathy and grace, that kind of leadership doesn't just belong in our state capitals and mayor's offices. It belongs in the White House. Former President Obama has a massive war chest. The other side has a propaganda network with little regard for the truth. On the other hand, pandemics have a way of cutting through a lot of noise and spin to remind us of what is real and what is important. This crisis has reminded us that government matters. It's reminded us that good government matters, that facts and science matter, that the rule of law matters, that having leaders who are informed and honest and seek to bring people together rather than drive them apart, those kind of leaders matter. In other words, Elections matter. So compare.